The Badger Army Ammunition Plant is going through some changes. NBC 15's Lindsey Branwell joins us to explain what the area's future may hold. Yeah, Lee, the DNR le released its plan 165 pages long on Tuesday, and you have 45 days to have your say on the proposal. Uh, off to our north, uh, we would have an, an overlook area. DNR Supervisor Paul Zajikowski is talking about the 3,300 acres of land that meets up with Devil's Lake State Park as a new chapter is ready to begin for the almost century-old Badger Army Ammunition Plant. Following the, the, nat or the native vegetation or the uh, pre-settlement vegetation. As we toured much of the park, native plants and flowers peek through the old pavement. Right now, a lot of that habitat is degraded, but it offers a great opportunity for improvement. The ammo plant kept grass mowed to keep it from catching fire, but the plan is to bring the land back to its natural habitat. From a grassland on the southern end of the property up to the forest where it connects with Devil's Lake State Park. That's some of what's outlined in the 165 page draft of the master plan. It's a thick document and it takes a little bit to go through and read through and digest. Now called the Sock Prairie Recreation Area, most of the ammo buildings will leave room for equestrian trails, fishing, picnicking, cross country skiing, snowshoeing, snowmobiling. The first thing will come in on the roads and development and, and roads that are open and making sure they're in safe condition and we maintain what we have. Mm -hmm. And then going into maybe um, getting rid of asphalt surfaces like Correct. that that wouldn't be needed. Correct. The master plan allows some of the changes to take 50 years. This isn't a two, three year, four or even a five year uh, project. This is uh, multiple years, 10 years and, and out. The DNR can't get started without the help of the public. They're looking for comment on the plan before they move forward. There is a public hearing set for September 10th, and the DNR is accepting comment online and through the mail until September 25th. We have all the details for this on NBC15.com. Just click news links at the top of the page.